Hello, today we are talking about the BioByte Corrector. The BioByte Corrector is a fixed class 2 appliance which is mounted on a multi bracket appliance. Here we see the prototype of 2006 and the BioByte Corrector is a passive rigid appliance. It is able to guide the mandible directly into class 1 occlusion after having installed the appliance. Therefore, it has no coil spring inside. On the left picture we see a class 2 occlusion and directly after having installed the appliance we have now a class 1 occlusion. This here is a patient case with a full class 2 occlusion and a deep bite and we see also the picture of the models before treatment. And these here are the x-rays. On the left side we see the x-ray before treatment and on the right side we see the x-ray after have level and align the teeth. And here we see the interoral photograph. In the upper we see the situation before treatment. In the middle we see the situation only after having level and align the teeth. So we have here still a class 2 occlusion with a deep bite. We uh, level and align the teeth until a 17 by 25 stainless steel arch wire. In uh, this situation we made uh, the lateral Seth X-ray which I showed you before. And uh, in the lower we see the situation after having mounted the appliance. And we see on the right and left side directly a class 1 occlusion, also with a straight midline and a deep bite. We see um, that um, the lateral teeth are not in contact and this is normal for the treatment um, with the BBC, especially in cases uh, with a horizontal growth, because we jump the bite in this case directly in one step directly in class 1 occlusion. So the BBC is working like an herbs appliance. The BBC was installed for the time of 6 months and um, after 6 months we dismount the BBC leaving the multi bracket appliance mounted for minimum six months because in this time he's wearing um, class 2 elastics. We will look if the class 1 occlusion is stable so to be sure that we get no relapse. And so then we dismount the multi bracket appliance and here we see also the final treatment goal. Here, these are the X-rays before um, mounting the BBC and after dismounting um, the multi-bracket appliance. And these here are the panoramic X-ray before and after treatment. And we see here that also the treatment time was very short. We can see it on the growth of the third molars. So the complete treatment time of this case was 18 months. Um, so we finished this case completely in 18 months. Before I developed the BioByte corrector, my wish was to have a rigid appliance, which is working like an herbs appliance because um, the herbs appliance is working very well. So it is very analyzed in the journals and very successful appliance to treat class 2 cases. Another wish was that the appliance does not require bands because normally I was not using bands on a multi bracket appliance, especially in the upper jaw uh, on the first molars. Another wish was that the BBC must have some ball joints because 
it's more comfortable for the patient, he can do lateral movements and another thing is that the ball joints do not stress the multi-bracket appliance or the class 2 appliance. So I wanted also an appliance with uh, screwable connections to be very quick to mount and to dismount the appliance and the screwable connection must be in the upper and lower jaw. I wanted an appliance which is um, mounted before first molar because this region is very comfortable for the patient and I wished an appliance which is completely pre-mounted that I have not to mount different parts and um, the appliance must have a multi-telescope hinge so that it allows wide mouth opening and the appliance cannot hang out like a classical herbs hinge where the hinges can disconnect. The wish was to have only one size for all cases, an easy handling and a high quality appliance, if possible manufactured completely in titanium, biocompatible and laser welded. And very important the screwable connection must not slide on arch wire. This is a very important fact to cause no pressure on the brackets, for example, lower canine or upper first molar. And now all these wishes are realized in the BBC. Here we see another case, a patient with a full class 2 occlusion and a deep bite. And these are the X-ray um, before starting the orthodontic treatment on the left. And here the situation after level and align the teeth without correction of the class 2 occlusion. We see um, that I straight up the teeth until in, um, 17 by 25 stainless steel arch wire. So we decompensated the retroinclinated incisors and we see now a bigger overjet. This here are the interoral photograph before treatment after level and align the teeth and in the lower we see the situation after having mounted the appliance. We have directly a class 1 occlusion on both sides with a straight midline and which is normal for the treatment with the bio bite corrector in patient cases with an horizontal growth. The teeth are not in contact on the molars. On um, my pictures you see directly a class 1 occlusion because I jump the bite in one step. That is my personal philosophy because I'm very confident working with an herbs appliance and with a classic herbs appliance we must jump the bite every time in one step. But if you like to jump the bite slowly so to move the lower jaw in steps forward you can do it with a BBC. You only have not to add directly the distance spaces on the Sinus telescope pipe. In um, this case the, the appliance was mounted for six months. So to level and align the teeth it takes about six months of time. Then we mounted the BBC. We let it mount it for another six months. So, so now we have a uh, complete treated treatment time of um, 12 months. And after dismounting the BioBite corrector, we let the multi bracket appliance mount it. In this time, he's wearing um, class 2 elastics. We do all the finishing bands and we look if the class 1 occlusion is stable. And after this time, we dismount the multi-bracket appliance. 
this is a situation after total treatment time of um, 18 months. Here a comparison of the X-ray before mounting the BBC and the situation at the end. And here the panoramic X-ray. When we are talking about treatment of class 2 patient cases, we have to talk about standard solution in orthodontics for class 2 treatment. And normally we have three standard solutions. First, the functional therapy with removable appliances like the treatment with a twin block. The next standard solution is the distalization of molars or the extraction of first premolars. And the third standard solution is the therapy with an herbs appliance, which is a fixed class 2 appliance. So what we are doing with removable appliances? We jump the bite, so which means we bring the lower jaw directly into a class 1 occlusion in one step. And the removal appliance has no active force or no coil spring inside. And what we are doing with an herbs appliance? We are doing the same like with a removable appliance, only that the herbs appliance is fixed. We jump the bite in one step with no active force in size so it means with no coil spring. Professor Pantiat rediscovers the herbs appliance. And with Professor Roof he analyzed these appliances very well. So there are many articles in the journals about the herbs appliance and it is analyzed why and how it works. The herbs appliance is a standard solution in treatment of class 2 patient cases because it is very successful and documented in the journals. Everything about the appliance is documented, like how it works, what it do with TMG, how it works in adults, what kind of problems it cause. All possible effects are very well analyzed. Here we see a classical herbs appliance, a model cast herbs appliance. And here this is the patient case with a deep bite and pro-inclinated incisors, a big overjet and a class 2 occlusion. We see um, on the pictures directly after having mounted the herbs appliance a class 1 occlusion so we jump the bite into class 1 occlusion in one step and we see also here that the lateral teeth are not in contact so the BBC is working like an herbs appliance and this here is the situation directly after dismounting the herbs appliance. We bond the multi-bracket appliance at the same day when we dismount the herbs appliance. And we see that the teeth are here in contact. So the teeth are erupting alone during the herbs therapy. This here is uh, the the end of treatment we see a class 1 occlusion on both sides with a deep bite correction. So what are the advantages of an herbs appliance? It is first the treatment goal. So if we have a big class 2 occlusion we get the treatment goal in 6 months. The appliance is working very well. It is working 24 hours we need no cooperation from the patient and we have a short treatment time and it is working also sometimes in adults. 
The disadvantages of the Herbs appliance is that of high lab cost in, and it has some discomfort for the patient. The appliance seems very big, it can hurt on the cheeks and during a wide mouth opening the telescope can hang out and we will lose the function of the appliance. So if the Herbs appliance is a standard solution. Our group of fixed functional appliances like an BBC or other appliances on market are they standard solutions for our treatment of class 2 patients? So normally here in Europe it is not a standard solution because this kind of appliances which are mounted on a multi-bracket appliance causes very often problems and we have to talk later about these problems but normally here in Europe we start therefore with removable appliances but very often we have no success with this kind of uh, removable appliances so that after 9 months or, or 12 months, which is the normal treatment time of um, removable functional appliances, we let wear the appliance a bit longer, for example 18 months. And if after 18 months we have no treatment goal, we will say, okay, stop wearing the removable appliance, we will try it with a fixed appliance, with a multi-bracket appliance, and uh, we will treat the class 2 with the uh, class 2 elastics. But if the class 2 elastics do not work, then we start to think about the group of fixed functional appliances like an BBC. So why we think that this kind of um, fixed functional appliances are not a standard solution in the treatment of class 2 patient cases. Is it because the appliance causes too much problems or is it because we don't reach the treatment goal? So normally I call this kind of fixed class 2 appliances a kind of last chance appliance or an emergency appliance to reach the class 1 occlusion. So with uh, fixed functional appliances we have to talk about the problems of this kind of appliances. The most biggest points are the frequency of reparations and how often we reach the therapy goal. And um, Another problem is perhaps how is the patient comfort? How is the handling for the doctor? We need different sizes or which preconditions do we need for mounting the appliance? This kind of appliances which are fixed on the multi-bracket appliance, I distinguish them in three brick groups. First, the flexible group, second the rigid appliance and the third group is the hybrid appliance. The flexible appliance is like an active coil spring. The passive or rigid appliance has no coil spring inside, it's only an hinged appliance working like a herbs appliance and the hybrid appliance is a mix of the group of flexible and rigid appliances. So it has a passive and an active part incorporated in one appliance. Here we see a picture of a flexible appliance and the patient has the opportunity to close his mouth in his old habitual occlusion if he overloads the coil spring force. So it is 
working nearly like um, a class 2 elastic and therefore it is difficult to calculate the treatment goal. Hybrid appliances guarantee a certain amount of protrusion of the lower jaw due to their rigid part. This is a very positive effect because then it is impossible to bite in its old habitual occlusion. But the thing is that normally this kind of hybrid appliance don't guide the lower jaw controlled into a class 1 occlusion. So we have a small jumping of the bite, so we move the lower jaw um, a bit forward and then we have the second part, the um, coil spring, which is pressing the lower jaw forward. But this kind of active coil spring, this part is difficult to calculate in the reaction. So if we get the final treatment goal into an imperfect class 1 occlusion. So for my philosophy of treatment, the Herb's philosophy, a passive rigid appliance is perfect to reach the treatment goal because with this kind of appliances we guide the lower jaw directly or stepwise into a class 1 occlusion and this is very important to get a, the final treatment goal. With an BBC we can guide the lower jaw controlled into a class 1 occlusion directly or stepwise and therefore the BBC has no coil spring incorporated in his appliance. There are existing also classic screwable herbs appliances which are mounted on a multi-bracket appliance with a basic herbs hinge. But uh, the classical herbs hinge is too rigid for our multi-bracket appliance because it has no ball joints mounted and the patient if he tries to do lateral movements he will bring so much forces on our multi-bracket appliance that he will debond the bracket or break the arch wire and this will cause the problems which we don't like. So this kind of appliances don't really survive because they cause too much problems for us doctors um, therefore, the solution is to have ball joints in the appliance and therefore the BBC is an screwable herb hinge but with the difference that it has ball joints incorporated. Here we see another BBC case. The patient case has a class 2 occlusion with a deep bite and a front crowding and these here are the x-rays before treatment and here are the interoral pictures. We have in the upper um, the situation after level and align the teeth until a 19 by 25 stainless steel arch wire. After level and align the teeth we mount the biobite corrector and with C profile spacers which we crimp on the appliance on the Sinus telescope pipe we adjust the movement of the lower jaw. The perfect adjustment is an overcorrected class 1 occlusion. We see that, that we have directly a class 1 occlusion um, a little bit overcorrected with no contact on the lateral teeth which is normal for patient with a horizontal growth and if we jump the bite in one step. 
and we see also a straight midline. But I remember you, this is my personal philosophy. You can guide the lower jaw also stepwise into class 1 occlusion and this can be a little bit more comfortable for the patient. We let mounted the BBC for six months. This is a general treatment time. And during this period uh, with the BBC treatment, also if we have the stainless steel arch wire, the teeth are erupting alone. That normally after uh, six to eight weeks, the teeth are in contact. And uh, after six months of BBC treatment, we dismount the BioBite corrector and let the multi bracket appliance bonded on the teeth. In, uh, after demounting the BBC, the patient is wearing class 2 elastics. And we see if um, the class 1 occlusion is stable and we do in this time also all our finishing bands. Here is the situation before and after deep bite correction. The general wearing time of the BBC is about 6 months. But it depends from the case. In small cases it can be 4 months and in difficult cases like in adults for example 9 months. Here we see the x-rays after treatment. Here we see a comparison of the x-rays before and after treatment. And here in another BBC case with a deep bite and in a class 2 occlusion. We see here the pictures of the models before starting the treatment and here the x-rays before treatment. This here is a situation after level and align the teeth until and stainless steel arch wire. The minimum size must be in 17 by 25. And uh, this here is a situation after I have mounted the BBC. I jumped the bite directly into a class 1 occlusion and we have here a big lateral open bite and this depends from the facial growth of the patient. More horizontal growth we have, more disconnection of the teeth we will have. And here's a situation at the end with the deep bite correction. Here um, a comparison of the three x-rays beginning on the left before mounting the BBC in the middle and on the right at the end, the situation at the end. Here um, a comparison of the panoramic x-rays beginning and end situation. Here we see the comparison of the deep bite. So before starting the treatment in the upper. In the middle we see the situation after level and align the teeth. And in the lower the situation at the end. So we talked about the treatment goal and the philosophy of the BBC is the Herbst philosophy because this is perfectly documented in the journals and the Herbst philosophy is a standard solution in treatment of class 2 patient cases. So 
the BBC can be a standard solution in treatment of class 2 patient cases and in my mind it is a standard solution. At the beginning we talked about my wishes which I have on a fixed class 2 appliance before developing the BBC. And now all my wishes are incorporated in the appliance BioByte Corrector, so the BBC. So the advantages of the BBC are uh, that it requires no bands in the upper molars. It has a screwable connection and ball joints and this allows lateral movements. From the patient side this is very important for the comfort and if the patient can do this movement he will not overload our multi-bracket appliance or the BBC so that we have not so often broken arch wires or debonded uh, brackets. The screwable connection in the upper and lower jaw makes it very easy to mount the appliance. And very important, the connection do not slide on the arch wire. This is very important because then we cause no pressure on our brackets, for example lower canine bracket or upper first molar. So then we have less debonds. The also another advantage is that the BBC is mount before first molar. This is a very important fact for our comfort for the patient. So my experience is that the B with an BBC we never hurt the cheek of the patient. The BBC is also completely pre-mounted so that we do not have to mount different parts before installing the BBC. It allows a, ma a wide mouth opening because we have a multi-telescope hinge construction and this construction can also net not hang out. In general we have only one size so one size for non-extraction cases and another size for extraction cases. The BBC is completely manufactured in titanium also the screws are manufactured in titanium and everything is laser welded. So we have here a high quality appliance. So how we guide only with one size a patient any time into a class 1 occlusion. So the BBC is for every patient too small and we have to add spacers on the sinus telescope pipe. The dimension of the spacers is 1.5 millimeters and we crimp it with a plier for example with a wine guard on the sinus telescope pipe. So with um, spacers we bring the lower jaw in steps forward. More spacers we use the more we bring the lower jaw forward. In general in 90% of the cases we need one or two spacers to jump the bite into a class 1 occlusion. On my pictures you see every time that I jump uh, the bite directly into in one step into class 1 occlusion. But perhaps for you it is not usual to bring the lower jaw directly in one step into a class 1 occlusion because you don't like to see this kind of big lateral open bite or you think about the comfort for the patient. But uh, don't worry, you can bring the lower jaw also in steps forward. Um, you only have not to add the spacers in the beginning. This is a kind of philosophy of the dog how he likes to work with the BBC. Uh, my philosophy is um, 
to work in that way to jump the byte directly into class one occlusion because I do it with an, um, classic her herbs appliance in the same way. And I know that uh, herbs philosophy is a standard solution and works very well. Now we will talk about how to fix the appliance in detail. First we have to level and line the teeth until minimum and 17 by 25 stainless steel arch wire. The biggest arch wire size we can mount with an BBC is a 21 by 25 stainless steel arch wire. In um, the lower jaw we need a cinch back of the wire. We can do it very easy with this kind of instrument you see here. It is called the twister. With this instrument it's very easy to bend the wire in 90 degrees so it will prevent protrusion of the lower incisors. In general we have no choice of the size because in non-extraction cases we use the BBC standard size. And only in extraction cases where we close the gap and we still have a class 2 occlusion we need the size small of the BBC. The um, bio bite corrector is completely pre-mounted so you take it out of the package and you can directly start to mount the appliance in the patient. You do not have to mount different parts. The appliance is distinguished in a left and right side. Now we start watching a video. Um, it shows how we mount the BBC in real time in three minutes and at the beginning of the video there are demonstrated some important preconditions. On the BioByte Corrector website um, there are also other videos uploaded and I advise you to watch all these videos because they are very important to work very successful with the appliance. So now we start the video. Do not use this video as a substitute for the directions for use. Precondition for the integration of the BioByte corrector is a multiband appliance with a stainless steel arch wire with a minimum size of 17 by 25 in the upper and lower jaws. In the lower jaw, the steel arch wire must have a cinch back to avoid a proclination of the incisors. If using self ligating brackets, the brackets marked should be protected with ligatures to avoid breakage of the clip. In addition, the brackets marked should not be ceramic brackets, as they could break. Here you will see the ideal conditions for successfully using the BioByte corrector. We will now demonstrate the clinical use of the BioByte corrector. The BioByte corrector is distinguished with left and right sides. These are fixing screws for the connecting element. The spacers are required for the adjustment of the BioByte corrector. The screwdriver should be secured with dental floss to avoid aspiration or swallowing. Use the screwdriver to pick up a screw. Please make sure that the screw is secure. Additional aids like wax are not required. The following video sequence is uncut and in real time. We begin with the fixation of the left side. First, the BioByte corrector is fixed in the upper jaw. Slide the screw body on the arch wire from gingival to occlusal. Then you can attach the screw using the screwdriver.
The connecting element must not have any contact to the bracket on the first molar. After fixing the maxillary connecting element, the mandibular connecting element must be attached between the canine and the first premolar. Slide the screw body onto the arch wire from gingival to occlusal and then attach the fixing screw. The connecting element should be placed as distal as possible, mesial to the bracket on the first premolar. The connecting element must not have any contact to the canine bracket at all. Fix the other side in the same way. After both sides are fixed, the patient is asked to bite. Make sure that the telescopes are entirely closed. If there is still distal occlusion, the lower jaw can be shifted forward by using the 1.5 millimeter spacers. These spacers can be crimped on the appliance, so the lower jaw can shift into neutral occlusion. The spacers are crimped on the thinnest telescope pipe. Fine corrections can be carried out by shifting the connecting element. Thank you for your attention. I hope you enjoy the video. Here we see some pictures when the patient is making some lateral movements within BBC. When we start to mount the connecting element in the upper jaw, hold the BBC in this way. Then we can slide very easy the connecting element on the arch wire. This is a kind of tip and trick because the connecting element is very flexible and if you don't do it in that way it can be a kind of difficult to mount it on the arch wire or to slide it on the arch wire. So why we choose this kind of construction? We choose it because this construction do not slide on the arch wire and this is very important to have less D-bonds. Now we are at the end of my presentation. Thank you for your attention. I hope you enjoy. Thank you, Enrico.